Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to export your designs from Figma slides to PowerPoint using the Pitch Deck plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma app and what you want to do is open up a brand new Figma design file. So instead of the Figma slides file, which we're going to look at in a second, what you want to do is open up a normal Figma design file and then go to the resources icon and you want to search for Pitch Deck. So that's P-I-T-C-H-D-E-C-K. And under the plugins tab, if you click on the Pitch Deck item, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little save icon here. And that's going to allow us to run the plugin from our saved plugins list. So I've already clicked on the save icon. So I'm just going to go to my plugins list by right clicking anywhere, going down to plugins, and then going down to saved plugins and clicking on Pitch Deck. And that's just going to run the plugin that we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it helps you to turn Figma frames into presentations automatically, uh, including exporting them to PowerPoint, which we're going to be doing today. So now that we've got the plugin saved and running, what we can do is go back to our Figma slides file. So we're just going to go to Figma slides. I'm just going to add a brand new slide deck because I don't have one designed already. You might already have your own, so you can use that one. Today I'm just going to be using this dark slides template. So I'm just going to click on view template and then add all slides. And that's just going to automatically add all of the slides to my Figma slides file. So by default, you might see the view looking like this, where it's got all the slides and a list on the left here. But for today's purposes, we want to go to the grid view. So just go up the top in the left top left here and click on grid view. And that's just going to change the view to allow us to see all of our frames in one go. So what you want to do is you want to select all of the frames that you want to export from Figma slides to PowerPoint. And we're going to copy those to our clipboard. So in this case, I'm just going to use the first row as an example. Uh, you would obviously use all of the slides you want. So if you want all of the slides selected in one go, just go ahead and click on Command A or just highlight all of those slides. And then you can copy them to your clipboard by just right clicking and then clicking on copy. So again, I'm just going to be looking at the first row just to simplify it. And I'm just going to highlight those slides, click on copy, and then go back to my Figma design file. And then I'm just going to paste those slides by right clicking on my canvas and clicking paste here. So once you've done that, you can then load up those frames by either refreshing the layers with this button here. So we've got this refresh layers button or rerunning the plugin if you've already run it and closed it. So I'm just going to click on the refresh layers button now, and that's going to load up all of my Figma frames from my page into the Pitch Deck plugin. So you can see here, we've got all of our frames that we just pasted in from Figma slides into our Figma design file and those are all looking really good. So what we wanna now do is export these to PowerPoint. So we're gonna to go to the export button in the top right of the plugin. So go ahead and click on export. And then we're gonna change the presentation export format in this drop down here to go down to the presentation apps group and just click on the PowerPoint option. So you wanna make sure that PowerPoint PPTX file is selected. And then you can adjust the settings here as you, as you like. So by default, it's going to automatically compress the images. It's going to downsize any large image layers and it's going to make the text editable. So those are the default options, but you can change these however you'd like. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on export for PowerPoint. And that's going to begin the export process of taking those slides from Figma slides that we just imported into this Figma design file. And it's going to automatically run through those and create a PowerPoint file. So once that finishes exporting, you'll get this message saying that your PowerPoint file is ready. And once that shows up, you can just go ahead and click on the download your PPTX file button. So I'm just gonna click on that now. And you can save that directly to your computer. So just go ahead and save it anywhere. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop for now. And once you've saved that to your computer, just double click on the file and that's gonna open up the file in PowerPoint. So you can see here, I've got my Figma slides exported into a real editable PowerPoint file, which I can edit. And you can see here that the text uh, is looking really good and it's worth being mindful of the fonts. So if you've got some Google fonts, uh, which your Figma slides design is using. So in this case, we're using Inter, the font Inter, and you want to make sure that the Inter font is installed on your computer as well, uh, because Figma slides is automatically using the Google fonts version of Inter. 
uh, inside the app. So if you're sending this to a client or if you're using it on your own computer, you just wanna make sure that the exact same font name uh, is installed on your computer. And that's gonna make sure that the correct font loads up uh, in your PowerPoint file too. Um, but that's looking really good. You can see that we can edit this content. It's a real PowerPoint file uh, created from the design that we had in our Figma slides file. So we're basically exporting these designs from Figma slides into this real PowerPoint file. And that's gonna allow you to have a bit more flexibility with how you share your Figma slides design. If you're working with clients or stakeholders that need to have it in PowerPoint for whatever reason, uh, this will give you the flexibility of designing it with the benefits of the Figma slides interface, and then having the flexibility of automatically exporting that through Pitch Deck into a editable PowerPoint file. So you can see here, all of the slides have been exported as we'd expect, and you can uh, modify and edit all of this content as you would need. Uh, I'll show you one more example, just to add a bit more flexibility uh, to the designs. So if you go back to Figma slides and create a new file, so in this case, I'm just gonna go to file and then go to new slide deck, and that's just gonna load up a new Figma slides file. And again, I'm not gonna use a pre-designed uh, template. I'm just going to use one of these built-in templates here. So I'm just going to click on view template. Once that loads, you can just go ahead and click on add all slides. So I'm just going to click on that add all slides button now. And you can see that's just spun up all of the slides from that template. So again, just make sure that you're in the grid view. So you can see I've got the grid view already selected up the top here instead of the slide view. So you want to make sure you're in grid view and that's going to allow you to quickly select all of those slides that you want to export from Figma slides into another PowerPoint file. So again, I'm just going to select some of these uh, on the top row just to give a quick example. So I'm just going to select the first 12 and click on the copy button just by right clicking and then going to copy. And again, we're going to go back to our Figma designs file. So we're going to jump out of Figma slides back into a normal Figma design file. In this case, I'm just gonna create a brand new page in the same file, and then I'm just gonna paste those in there by right-clicking anywhere and then clicking paste here. And once you've done that, you can either reload the layers by clicking on the refresh icon uh, or refresh layers button here again, or if you've already closed off the plugin, you can simply rerun the plugin uh, and that's gonna automatically load up those frames directly into the plugin. So you can see here that it's basically loaded up those 12 frames. So all of those slides we just copied from Figma slides into our normal Figma design file, you can see that those are looking uh, really good. So now that we've got those imported into Figma, all we need to do again is just click on the export button up here. Uh, again, you can play around with these settings. If you want things like retina images, you can obviously enable those kinds of settings, play around with all these things here. And again, I'm just gonna leave most of these as standard and then click on export for PowerPoint again. And one more time, this is gonna run through all of the slides in our Figma design and export them all to a PowerPoint file. So you can see here, our PowerPoint file is ready again. So we're gonna download your PPTX file. Again, I'm just gonna save that directly to my desktop and open that one up. So I'm just gonna double click on that. And the thing I wanted to call out here is that you'll notice that the font up here is a little bit uh, out of alignment with our Figma design over here. And I'll show you why that is. So if we jump into the text area over here, double click on that item, you can see here that the height of that text area is actually extending outside of the bounds of its dimension. So you can see that the uh, height of the layer is actually about 230, but you can see that the text area or the text uh, kind of highlighting uh, where we've got the little cursor here is extending outside of that. So that's basically pushing uh, the font size down a little bit or the font position down a little bit. So there's a couple of options there. You can either modify things like the line height to adjust that manually, or you can just edit that in the PowerPoint file itself and shift those down. So for example, we could basically just highlight that, shift it into the correct position, and that basically solves the issue there. So again, this is more of an edge case. You're not gonna run into this with pretty much most uh, fonts, but some typefaces do have that offset that might uh, change some of the positioning there. But you can see the other layers are looking quite good. So you can see we've got the font is editable. So again, you gotta make sure that you've got the actual font installed. So in this case, the Dangrek font is installed locally on my computer. So that's why I'm able to edit this font 
uh, visually. If you don't have the correct font installed, it will fall back to a different font. So if you're wondering why the fonts aren't aligned, you just have to make sure you're installing the exact uh, font that was used in the Figma file from our Figma slides file, uh, which are typically Google fonts. So you're pretty much always using Google fonts unless you've got your own custom font uh, installed that you're using for your Figma slides. Anyway, so that's basically it. I just wanted to run through a couple of quick examples of how you can automatically uh, take your designs from a Figma slides file and get those into a PowerPoint file just by exporting them via the Pitch Deck plugin. So just a last note is the reason the slides are being imported into a normal design file is that currently Figma slides doesn't support Figma plugins. Uh, I suspect that they might support Figma plugins in the future, but in the meantime, if you're really uh, keen on using the Figma slides app or the Figma slides uh, product, but you really still need to get those designs into a PowerPoint file, then jumping into a normal Figma file and exporting them via the Pitch Deck plugin is gonna be a really uh, simple way to go about it with only that minimal step of copying your slides out of Figma slides and then getting those out to PowerPoint via the Pitch Deck Figma plugin. So I'll leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.